Well, do you have some friends or little children in your family that absolutely hate spiders? Well, here's something to scare them out of their wits. Little gumdrop spiders. You can hang them, suspend them from branches in your house, and they can just bounce around. They're edible, they're cute, and they're very easy to make. And I love doing things like this on Halloween, working with gumdrops and licorice. Well, to make a black spider, take a big black gumdrop. Cut off just about an eighth of an inch, like that. All these candies, by the way, come from Sweet Life on Hester Street in New York City. It's a great candy store. And they have gumdrops and bridge mix. This is like a 1950s bridge mix. These are big, fat licorice drops. Cut this one in half. And you can just adhere one to the other. Very simply, they stay. And then you'll have to make little indentations in the gumdrop for the spider's legs. This is one of the Martha by Mail pumpkin carving kit tools. It's like a little wood chisel. And you just make little indents around the bottom of the gumdrop. Spiders should have eight legs. And the licorice, which has been cut into appropriate lengths for the spider's legs, can be inserted right into these little indents. You can make lots of these and hang them from elastics like on our tree or just hang them from threads over your doorway. You can also wrap them up in pretty little boxes like this and use them as part of the invitation to your Halloween party. Very cute. And you can bend these a little bit if you like. So here we have the basic spider, but we'll also need some eyes. And we can use these little licorice candies. They remind me of Good and Plenty's. And they can stick right in over that dark black body. Cut side out. So they look like eyes. and use your imagination to make any number of fabulous little items. Now to hang them, take a length of thread. This is our elastic. And you go through the spider's body from top to bottom using a large needle. Make a knot, it'll stay first have to get it off the needle, which gets kind of sticky. Oops. Make a knot, snip it off, cut your length, and hang your spider. There he is. Now he has a little friend. Very sweet. And as I said, they're edible, they're simple, and they are very, very scary. Snip it off and let them bounce. Let them crawl. And if you catch them, eat them if you dare.